Good evening, friends. My name is Ryan Deal, and I'm the Chief Creative Economy Officer for Creative Greensboro, the city of Greensboro's Office for Arts and Culture. I'd like to welcome you to tonight's Opus Concert, the second in our 41st season, recorded live from the Van Dyke Performance Space. Creative Greensboro was founded in 2019 as the city's Office for Arts and Culture. Our work is guided by the goals laid out in the Cultural Arts Plan, which was approved by City Council in December of 2018. We're also the new home for many of Greensboro's favorite creative activities, programs formerly known as the Music Center, the Drama Center, and City Arts. And in addition to our work in music and theater programming, we're also the primary managers for the Greensboro Cultural Center, which is home to more than a dozen other creative organizations. You can learn lots more about our work by visiting our website, www.creativegreensboro.com, or you can like and follow us right here on Facebook. Be sure to like and follow us today and stay tuned for important updates and announcements, not only about our own programs, but also on behalf of Greensboro's entire creative community. For well over a decade, we have proudly collaborated with our media sponsor, Fox 8. Fox 8 is streaming tonight's event to their website and Facebook pages and is excited to be able to be a part of our concert series like they have been in the past with our popular MUSEP series. This free concert series is a tradition decades long in Greensboro, made possible thanks to the generosity of individuals like yourself. Each one of our four concerts this fall will cost approximately $2,000 to produce. Should you be able to help us offset some of these expenses, I hope you'll take a moment tonight to make a donation of any size by visiting creativegreensboro.com or by mailing a check to the address shown on the screen. I can assure you that any amount will make a big difference. Now, on with the concert. Tonight we have musicians from the Philharmonia of Greensboro. The Philharmonia is a symphony orchestra of approximately 50 volunteer members from the Greensboro area. They perform classical, pop, and children's music, as well as multimedia programs. Tonight, in light of COVID-19, we will be featuring small ensembles from the orchestra. Please join me in welcoming to the Opus stage conductor Peter Pere, who will introduce the selections you will be hearing tonight. Good evening. My name is Peter Pere, and I am very fortunate to work with these musicians all year long. Um, we have five pieces on our program today. We have, let's see, three quintets and two octets. That should be 31 different characters on stage, played by 23 different players. So you'll see some players come back from time to time. The piece we're going to start the whole concert with is by a Danish composer. This piece was written in 1922. His name is Carl Nielsen, and it is for a woodwind quintet. That means a flute, an oboe, a clarinet, a bassoon, and a horn. It's the minuet and the trio from Carl Nielsen's Opus 43 for woodwind quintet. Thank you. 
Quintet, and this one is by a composer with a rather complicated name, Ernst von Dohnanyi. Dohnanyi was a German composer of Hungarian origin um, from a very famous family of politicians and very wealthy people, and as a matter of fact, his grandson became the conductor of the Cleveland Orchestra in the United States for a number of years. They are going to play the quintet in E flat minor, opus 26 for string quartet. String quartet is two violins, a viola, and a cello. So this, this is the first movement. It's called Allegro non troppo, and Allegro non troppo simply means fast but not too fast. Here we go.
Joseph Labor is perhaps the least well-known of all of the composers on this particular concert. He was born in Bohemia, which is now part of the Czech Republic, in 1842. So we're well back into the 19th century. Um, at the age of three, he contracted a disease which left him unfortunately blind. But that didn't stop him from becoming an outstanding music teacher, organist, and pianist. Uh, he had some very notable students at various times. We're going to hear tonight uh, the quintet, opus 11, for clarinet, violin, viola, cello, and piano. And the second movement of this quintet is called Allegretto Grazioso. Allegretto, allegro means happy and, 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 and fast. Allegretto means a little bit happy, a little bit fast. Grazioso, of course, means graceful. So it's, it's kind of a lilting piece.
Felix Mendelssohn was a German composer, very, very famous from a very, very young age. The piece we're going to hear now was rather an exceptional piece written for eight string instruments, four violins, two violas, and two cellos, a double string quartet, written when Mendelssohn was only 16 and a half years old. It has forever astounded theoreticians and musicians alike as to how he was able to write such a complex, complex and complete piece at such an age. Uh, it was written in 1825. Mendelssohn was a German composer. This is the second movement. It is the Andante with eight musicians from the Philharmonia.
And now to close our concert, one of the most magnificent pieces of chamber music ever written. Peter, uh, Sir Franz Peter Schubert, the Austri Austrian composer who died at the young, young age of 31, uh, wrote in 1824 a piece of music for eight instruments. We have a clarinet, we have a bassoon, we have a horn, and we have a string quintet. That means the first, second violin, viola, cello, and a double bass. He wrote this piece, and after four movements, it wasn't enough for him, so he wrote an additional two movements. We won't play all of it, because it'll take more than an hour, but here is the Austrian composer, uh, Franz Schubert's, the first movement of his, his uh, octet in F major.
Thank you.
Thank you to conductor Peter Pere and members of the Greensboro Philharmonia for this fantastic concert. If you enjoyed as much as we did, I hope you'll take a minute and hit like, hit love, leave a comment about your favorite piece or to a musician who's, particular, who's particularly special to you. I would like to remind you that we will be broadcasting additional concerts on December 13th and 20th. Be sure to like the Creative Greensboro Facebook page tonight so we can keep you in the loop about upcoming events. Finally, thank you to the generous donations that you have made already this evening that help keep the Opus concert series free for everyone. If you've not already done so, please consider making a donation online at creativegreensboro.com or by mailing a check to the address shown on your screen. Thanks again for joining us, and we'll see you next week with the Lorena Gillian Tango Ensemble and Sheila Starr Productions. <laughs>